course, it's Friday, so we're in our Southern Union State Community College kitchen. Today we're joined by Dr. Kelly Hodge from Southern Union. Thanks yes. so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank tell, you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? So I'm actually uh, on the Southern Union Foundation Board, so I'm a volunteer basically for Southern Union, and then I am a retired educator as well. And what are we cooking? We're, we're getting festive today we for St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. We are St. Patrick's Day. In my early days as a kindergarten pre-K teacher, we made magically delicious cupcakes for St. Patrick's Day, that's so that's what cute. we're going to do today. And what makes them so magically delicious? Um, that wonderful, magically delicious cereal with Perfect. marshmallows. Yes, we have yes. some examples over here that look yes, really cute. Yes. So what are your first steps? So to begin with, we need to make some cereal milk. And so that's as easy as it sounds. I put about a cup and a half of milk in. We're just gonna pour some cereal in there, let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes, okay. and then it comes out this nice, Colorful, syrupy, mixture. sweet, lovely mixture. And then we also need to separate our cereal and sort the cereal from the marshmallows okay. so that we will have those for later. And then I just used a white uh, cake mix um, from the box and we're going to add... I love a box mix because it yes, makes things yes. nice and easy and Yes, quick. yes, yes. And so we're going to add one cup of that cereal milk to it we have three egg whites okay. so that I nicely separated before I got on TV <laughs> and made a mess, and one third cup of vegetable oil, and we're just going to mix that up. Oh, I should have put we, on my apron. Let me, well, let me yeah, step you, back. You, I'm going to inch up. back. <laughs> we, we start out slow so that we don't make too much of a mess. Very good. And then we'll speed it up and get that batter just like we want it. So where did you get the idea to add that little colorful syrupy cereal portion to it? I can't reveal all my secrets. Oh, um, I understand. But the internet is a fabulous tool. <laughs> um, so you can also add food coloring to this if you okay. want to make them like even a little more, more festive. Green or just yes. colorful. But since I did this with pre-K and kindergarten kids, stayed away from yeah. food coloring, and I'm a little clumsy myself, so I stay away from food coloring except at Christmas with my red velvet cakes. <laughs> so after we get our batter all mixed up, we're just going to Put it into fill the cups our, up. Our, our, we're gonna fill it up. We've already preheated our oven over here. And you're gonna fill it somewhere between a half and two thirds full. It's a little less than one fourth of a cup of batter. Okay. Is what it really boils down to. And so we'll fill up a couple of those. What do you have the oven set on? It is on 350 and we will bake these for 20 minutes. And then we have some wonderful filling that we're going to make a little later, and we're going to put you to work. Okay. Um, putting, I'm ready. Helping us out with some marshmallows and the filling. I love this portion of it, though, Kelly, because you can tell you made this for little kids because it seems really easy. It seems like something you can have your kids jump in the kitchen yes. with you, help pour some stuff in the bowl. Yes, and cooking is such a good activity to do with kids. There's so much math, there's science, there's listening and following directions, there's reading and following directions. Just general life skills. Yes, yes, but then, you know, even your little bitty ones can do this with sorting cereal, um, all those kinds they of things. They can add the cereal to the milk. Yes, yes, so it, is a, it really is a great activity to do. Um, with our with kids so uh, yeah we're gonna pop those in the oven for 20 minutes and if we if we've got time we'll start working on the filling but if I not, love it let's let's fill a few right. more of these up Kelly how long have you been teaching so I am actually a retired educator I retired as superintendent from Chambers County School District I had 27 years in but I taught for about 10 years and I taught pre-K, kindergarten, and second grade. I love it, and I love the way they're already turning out, Kelly. We're going to check back <laughs> in with you in a few minutes to work on that filling. You said you're going to put me to work, so I'm going to grab my, I am, my yes, apron. Grab your apron. Grab your I'll, apron. I'll be ready. All right. And it's 4.11.07, oh, not 4 o'clock. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching us here on Alabama Live. We'll be right back after this break.